Hello beautiful people, today I'm going to show you how I revamped this Dola hair that I purchased over the summer. I had it sitting in the bag for a while and this is what it looks like after. When I first purchased it and I installed it, this is what it looked like. And you know with curly hair after a while it'll normally get bigger, but today I'm going to show you how you can maintain that wet look. So this is what the hair looks like after sitting in my bag of wigs for a few months you know nappy and matted I did make this wig by myself um, this is their water wave hair two 26 inch bundles a 24 and a 5x5 five five closure so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and soak your hair in some water I like to use the Garnier Fouti shampoo because it prevents dryness so you know sometimes when wigs are sitting in the bag for a while it'll tend to get dry so here I am just washing out the wig you want to get all the old dirt out as much as possible so I'm just going ahead washing it I like to scrub my wigs hard it looks like I'm washing my clothes on the side of the road but I'm African you get it just want to make sure all the gook that was under the closure comes out because you know before I got the ebon I was using my concealer and you know sometimes the concealer and got to be spray it normally gets stuck on the um, closure so you want to go ahead and give it a good wash with the shampoo and then you're gonna see the star of the show in my last video I talked about this product and this product is really 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 gonna help your curly hair and that's the silicone mix conditioner now you want to take that conditioner you're gonna put it all over the wig and you're gonna put it all over until you um, get all the knots out. And you know, like finger combing as you go along. That's what I like to do. And then after that, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna comb it out. I'm gonna finger comb it until all the knots are out. And you know, with curly hair, if you don't comb it out completely, then that's when in the back, it tends to nape up or you'll get a lot of hair coming out. But if you do this step right here and you let it sit in the silicone, and you comb it out you'll see at the end you'll barely have any hair coming out and this hair is actually really good the whole time I had it I didn't have a lot of shedding and you know with curly hair you tend to get a lot of shedding but as you can see once I started combing it out with a big um, demi brush I don't have much hair coming out I'm gonna show you how much hair came out in total look at it I'm telling you guys silicone that's the secret weapon Look at this. Look how much hair came out. Not much. Now normally, especially curly hair, this is the second install. It's normally a lot of hair. I've had curly hair that you can only wear once and you can't. There's no hope for it again. Look at that. So I let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes and here I am just washing it out. You want to have, you know, your hair towel or any old towel that you normally use. Or you can use a t-shirt because that locks in the moisture. I am using um, lukewarm water, I would say, to rinse it out. And check that out. You guys saw how this hair was looking at the beginning. This is what it looks like after I let it sit in the silicone. Gave it a good deep condition. Look at that. I let the hair air dry, this is the next day. You're gonna go ahead and take your ebon and spray it. The link will be down below on everything that I'm using today. You wanna put a dome cap. My hair isn't braided under. I had my hair straight and so I just combed it back. Um, the wig grip is also linked down below. I love the, the wig grip because ladies, we gotta preserve our edges. Especially after I had my son, you know, my edges is looking kinda, mm, but that's another story for another day so here I am I'm just parting the hair last time I wore it I did a side part but today I decided I wanted to go and do a center part you know I love me a center part so here I am just trying to find where I want to part it does look a little over part um, over plucked I'm sorry in the front but that's because I had a side part before but you're gonna see how I'm gonna cover that up towards the end now I did let the hair um, air dry overnight, so I am adding a little bit more water to it because I wanted the hair to be a little damp before I added the secret weapon. So you need the silicone to restore your curls 
and then you're gonna get some Cantu coconut curling cream. This stuff right here, you know sometimes you wear curly hair and before you can even get to your event or destination, the hair is a big old poof ball. Well, if you put this in, you see I'm going in on it. Going in on it. Put that all over your hair. It doesn't make the hair feel greasy. It doesn't make, you know, sometimes it'll leave like that weird, like, I don't know, when you touch your hair, it's like a weird feeling and it leaves like some residue on your hands or your clothing. This doesn't do that. And I like to use this on my natural hair as well. So you wanna go ahead and put your Cantu coconut curling cream all over the hair. Here I am just combing through. As you can see, the whole time I've been running my hands through it, I've been putting the brush through it, and no hair has been coming out. That's because we did a great job with the silicone in the beginning. So I'm gonna take my got to be spray, go ahead and spray it all over my forehead. I love this spray, because honestly, I don't keep my wigs on for long. I'll wear it, it secures, it does what it needs to do, and when I come home at night, take it right off. So you're gonna go ahead and press it in. I'm using this little razor that I got from the beauty supply store and the toothbrush that I use for my baby hairs. I do not use this toothbrush for regular day to day, but I use it for my baby hairs. Um, I did go ahead and spray some of the got to be glue on it just to make the brush a little wet. But you can use any type of jam, gel, eco style gel, or the got to be um, gel that works well as well. Here I am with the wax stick that will also be um, linked below because I just want to flatten out the top a bit. Put a little bit of the wax stick on it and go back in with your hot comb. Look at that. You can't tell me nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the curl. Look at the bounce. It's moving. Here I'm just feeling myself giving you guys a little slow motion but Take a look at that and get into it, please. Because, honey, I mean, look at how it's sitting. Look at that. That's all the hair. You guys watched from beginning to end. That's all the hair. After I combed it out with the conditioner, what came out on the brush, this is all the hair that has come out. And that's all because of the silicone. This is me a few days after wearing the hair. Look at how pretty it is. Now, Dola hair, I will recommend it. I purchased it on my own. This is not sponsored. So this is their water wave hair. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.